Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about motor control, motor learning, motor development, and motor behavior, and the differences between these terms. Um, so first, motor skills are activities or tasks that uh, we're using or we're participating in to achieve a goal with some kind of purpose. Um, it also must involve voluntary control over movements of the joints and segments of the body. Okay, so a motor skill is some kind of task where we are achieving a specific goal by voluntarily moving and coordinating the body. Uh, motor control is how the neuromuscular system activates and coordinates muscles and segments to perform a motor skill. Okay, so is the neuromuscular control over our physical ability to perform a motor skill accurately and achieve the goal of the skill. Uh, it includes central and peripheral factors. So central nervous system, so brain and spinal cord and peripheral factors, meaning like uh, the peripheral nervous system. So nerves and sensory input and so on. Uh, motor learning uh, is either the acquisition of a new motor skill, so a new skill that we haven't used before. Um, it could be the improvement of a motor skill that we have already, so improving in performance of that skill, or the reacquisition of a motor skill that maybe we had before, but we have to relearn that motor skill like following an injury or something like that. Motor development is referring to motor control and motor learning in the context of human development. So looking at how uh, growth and maturation over a lifespan from infancy to old age affects motor control and motor learning. Finally, motor behavior is the performance of the motor skill. Um, so motor behavior, the actual execution of that motor skill uh, is affected by the motor skill itself. So what is the skill, how challenging it, it is, how uh, much coordination does it require and so on. Uh, the performance environment. So in what environment are you performing that behavior? And then also the individual who's actually performing the behavior. So the physical and psychological characteristics of the person. Okay, so motor skill performance depends on the motor skill, the place, the environment where that motor skill is being performed and the performer, the, the characteristics and qualities about the person who's actually performing that skill. All right, thanks so much for watching.